Hey, I want to have a quick conversation um, that I usually have with brand new Infusionsoft users, but I want to record it in case it benefits you because maybe you're new to Infusionsoft or maybe you're just starting to take Infusionsoft a little more seriously. So it involves where Infusionsoft fits in your business. I find that this is a topic that some people struggle with and they definitely struggle more than they should because Infusionsoft is a tool, right? And if you think about it as a tool, right, there's lots of different ways that you can use it to make your business um, either better or bigger or to save you time or to, to impact it in a number of ways. So Infusionsoft has a bunch of different sections, right? And it's helpful if you think about these different sections sort of on this uh, visual layout, and I'll have to come up with some creative graphic to demonstrate this. But um, across the bottom, right, if you picture a big rectangle, across the bottom you cut out a sliver, and that's the CRM. And it's important that the CRM uh, section covers the entire width of the rectangle because the CRM is always there. It's the kind of the base of Infusionsoft. It keeps all of your data and it keeps kind of a running history of how you interact with any of your leads or any of your prospects or any of your customers or any of your partners, right? It's just a, a current temperature check of your relationship and all of your data is stored, at least all of the data about people is stored there in the CRM section. Now, if you move from left to right across the top, you're gonna to have basically three thirds, right? And the third section on the, on the left side is your lead generation. The third in the middle is your nurture or your educate, um, sort of driving towards the conversion. And then you have a third section all the way on the right, which is uh, your sales section. And so um, that first third and now that I say it, maybe it's a lot, maybe it should be less than a third, right? So maybe it's just a sliver for lead generation. Um, so let's dial that down to about a sliver. And the reason I say that is because I think too many people um, have a disproportionate focus on lead generation. I'm not saying that lead generation isn't important. Of course it is, right? But I, I think of lead generation as like, um, if you're throwing a big party, right, um, you wouldn't spend all of your money just on printing flyers to let people know about the party, right? Because when they show up and there's no music, there's no food, there's no drinks, there's no pinata filled with adult novelty toys or whatever, right? If you don't have all of the things at the party, then it's going to fall flat, right? As soon as they come in the front door, they're going to be like, hey, what's going on? So I think that people need to spend a lot more time focusing on that middle section, which is designing the experience, right? It's the nurture process. It's the education process. It's the relationship building. Um, because really what good is generating a whole bunch of prospects if you're not converting them at a high rate or you're not creating the experience you want for those people. So the middle section is your marketing section, right? That's the, the campaign builder. That's the Infusionsoft um, automation that allows you to create that experience that you want with each of your prospects and drive them toward ultimately converting or becoming a customer or benefiting from the services that you have to offer. So the left side, the lead generation, that's going to be landing pages, web forms, and that's also built using the campaign builder. But those are your entry points. Um, outside of Infusionsoft, there's lots of third-party tools and plugins that can help with that specific section. Uh, personally, at MonkeyPod, I use lead pages, but I know there's lots of tools out there that have similar functionality. So you're going to want something that fits into that slot. Now, the campaign builder, I believe, is the world's most powerful marketing tool. So that's that middle section driving them from left to right across the rectangle. And then on the right side, if we divide that uh, sales section right in half, that gives us two squares. And what we could call that or what we would look at that as it would be our online and our offline sales. So depending on how your business operates, you might sell exclusively online. You might have an e-commerce store, you might have just people purchasing through order forms or a storefront, or you might have an offline sales process where it requires picking up the phone, it requires interacting with people and guiding them through um, a series of touch points or a pipeline of some sort, or your business might have both, right? It's totally possible that you sell in both of those capacities and no matter which one you use, Infusionsoft does support it, right? Infusionsoft has an online Online storefront or the ability to process orders, but it also has the ability to guide people through a structured and, and staged sales process. So no matter how you sell, one of those solutions will likely work for you. Or you might use a third-party tool for e-commerce altogether. You don't have to use Infusionsoft to process orders. But what I want to point out here is that within this rectangle, you'll note that the CRM section is still beneath everything. 
So no matter what happens, whether they opt in, whether they open emails, or whether they eventually buy something, all of that information is being mapped back to that CRM, which has their contact record. So you can see kind of that trail of breadcrumbs from what your relationship with them looks like and how it's gotten to that point. So um, beyond the sale, right, there's a whole nother, a whole different section of your relationship. And that's where you either guide them towards another sale or you encourage them to become a partner to promote you um, or you, you know, drive them towards your continuity program or something like that. So I don't want you to think that the relationship ends at, you know, after the purchase. Really, I think of that as more like the inflection point. It's just uh, when you learn something new about them and your relationship shifts a bit. But for the sake of this conversation, that rectangle kind of covers the different sections of the software, right? You have the campaign builder, you have the CRM section, you have the e-commerce section, and then you also have uh, the sales pipeline section and maybe even the referral partner section. But those are the tools inside of Infusionsoft. Now, if you want to do this yourself, right, then I believe the easiest way to get there is through a foundation of education. Now, it's not the right fit for everyone to build their Infusionsoft system on their own. I recognize that. And if you want to hire a consultant or if you want to subscribe to somebody who has a system for doing this sort of thing, that's totally fine. I've seen it work for a number of different people. But I have a philosophy of my own where um, everyone's business is a little bit different, right? And you're probably the world's most uh, you know, qualified authority on your own business. It's as simple as that. So my belief is that if we educate you on what Infusionsoft can do, if you think of it as a tool, I'll show you all the different ways that you can leverage it, all the different ways that you might be able to apply that tool for your business. And then you're in a position to either decide, yes, I want to do this and I want to use this section, but not that section or this section, but not that section. Um, or you could decide, you know what, it's not for me. But until you have that foundation of education, it's really tough to make that decision. In fact, when you hire a consultant, and like I said, there are plenty of qualified, capable consultants who can bring a lot of value to your business, but when you hire someone, you're sort of trusting that they know what's best for your business. And they might, right? Like they might have a lot of experience to draw from that can really help and benefit you. But somewhere at the root of that, it's probably in your best interest to have your own understanding of Infusionsoft, just so you can comfortably speak about it, even if you decide it's not for you. Now, if you're interested in, like I said, starting with Infusionsoft or just starting to take it seriously, I recommend checking out my brand new course, the IS Starter Kit, right? It's 40 short, actionable modules designed to give you a taste of what Infusionsoft's all about, help you with how you think about it, and start to understand some of the basic functionality that you're going to need to get an ROI on your Infusionsoft investment. Now, if you're curious about this course, I recommend checking it out using the link below. And if you're just unsure, there's a no, no cost, totally free trial that you can get six of the modules to check it out and get a taste and decide if it's right for you. So jump in and I'll see you in the course. Cheers.